As of this video, at the beginning of this month of October 2021, we finally got to perform again, like the tribute band Megadead. It, it was nice to just be back on stage, and this video isn't about performing, but I got to crack this thing out again and just riff on it on stage. So I thought this should be the guitar of the month for... October 2021. So this guitar is not only special to me for it being what it is and who it's from and who it's made by and how well it's served me, but it's also very special to me because my father helped me get a hold of this guitar when I was in high school. I was a sophomore in high school. I was trying to get a silver V really bad and I was trying to sell whatever I could to get a hold of one. But that actually ended up being later. My father and I went to our local guitar center and brought in some gear that we were willing to trade. I was trying to get a silver V, but things changed immediately when I saw this. And the cool thing about it was I saw it hanging on the pillar just sideways. But I recognized it. I was like, I was like, whoa, that's cool. They got a Dave Mustaine. And then I started turning. And I was like, Oh, it's the double neck. I didn't get excited though, like I was going to buy it. I, I just figured it was out of our price range and it, it's just not happening. But it's a big deal that I got to actually see one. So it was cool how my attitude was just, I, I'm so happy to be able to at least try one out. But I understand that I'm not going to be able to take this home. And that's okay. My father, however, brought in... A bunch of cymbals because he's a drummer and i thought he was trying to get a, a new snare drum or something and turns out he actually traded stuff to help me buy a new guitar i didn't know this and he was more excited than i was to see this thing because he knew that i want one he knew that i freaked out when i saw that they they were making an import and then here we are we we have one in my lap and he was just like, you know, he was asking me, like, how does it feel? Like, do, do you like the sound of it? Like, what do you think? And, you know, I was just saying, like, it's it's playing like a dream. It's it's amazing. And he, he was excited. He, he traded in a bunch of stuff. And he said, if, if this is what you want, let's get it. And I couldn't believe it. I, I wasn't going to ask him. It, it was during a time that... It was during a time that it, we didn't have the most money, so I just knew that this wasn't going to work out, I thought, at least. I traded in uh, essentially my first high-end guitar, which was the Dean Razorback Explosion. We didn't get a lot for it, which was weird, but that's just how it works. But I, this is essentially a, a good upgrade, and... I've held on to this thing forever and I will continue to hold on to this thing forever. That was a worthy investment and I have no regrets. And in fact, I'm ecstatic that even to this day, it's been over a decade of me owning this guitar and I still love it today. It was, it, it was such a big deal that my father was willing to, part with a few of his symbols to get me this thing. He knew I really wanted one. And it was really cool that this was not even planned. I didn't plan to see a double neck Dave Mustaine, but we showed up there to trade in some gear so I can get something to upgrade. It, it was a big deal. And it's it, to me, it's still amazing. And what made this even more crazy was this was a new guitar from a different store that went out of business. They had an Angel of Death guitar as well. And that was cool, but it, it I didn't understand why it felt weird, but that one felt really weird, where this one felt supreme. And turns out that was because that was an Indonesian Angel of Death. And I didn't understand it yet because I didn't understand the difference between you know manufacturers. 
But this felt the way it's supposed to feel because it's a Korean Dave Mustaine VMNT. <laughs> So that store went out of business, they unloaded some gear, they gave it to my local guitar center. And since it was inventory from another store, Guitar Center had to mark these as B stock or used. So this thing is, was brand new. It had the plastic on the pickups, you know, looked like hardly anyone touched it. Obviously it had its hard shell case, you kind of need it. And this thing was right about 50% off. And the guitar came out that year. So it was just meant to be. And I'm such a huge fan and a V player that like I, I'm the customer for this instrument. I think what helped was it was near the Christmas time, so... It just things lined up very nicely. It, it, it was very interesting. So yes, this this guitar means a lot to me, and it's even it even means a lot more to me because my father helped me get it, and we went on a journey to get it. No idea that we were gonna take this home, but it it's so amazing. Like I. That is such a great memory to have with my father. So this has to be the Guitar of the Month for October 2021 because I needed to share the story and why a guitar like this means so much to me. Oh.